Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Winnet and you are tuned into Cooking with Win. As you can see in the kitchen today, I have a special guest slash an assistant. We're gonna be teaching you guys how to make Liberian donut today. She have flour all on her hand because she went ahead and measured the flour for you guys. We have four cups of flour in here and we're gonna be using two one fourth teaspoon of instant dry yeast. We're gonna be using one teaspoon of kosher salt one egg make sure your egg is at room temperature we'll be using three tablespoons of butter i'll be using the country craft butter today you need vegetable oil for frying and you need one and a half cup of milk we're also going to be adding three tablespoons of sugar one two and three next thing i'll go ahead and measure my yeast so i'm gonna put her aside and finish this up because I have the instant dry yeast I'm gonna be adding it directly to the flour but if you have the active dry yeast you're gonna need to warm your milk and add it to your your milk and set it aside for like 20 minutes before adding it to your flour this is one teaspoon that's two add one fourth if you have the package of yeast you don't have to measure you can just add it directly I need one and a half cup of milk I'll go ahead and add the butter. I need three tablespoons of butter. One, two, and three. So I have my milk and my butter in here. I will heat this up in the microwave for one minute and I'll be right back. So my one minute is up. I'm gonna just go ahead and whisk my butter into my milk. So I'm gonna set this aside. I just realized guys, I forgot to measure my salt. So I'm gonna be adding my salt into my flour. I have one teaspoon of salt. I'll add that to my dry ingredients. And I'll use my spoon to mix them together. So you wanna wait for your milk to cool down a little bit before adding in your eggs. While I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'll go ahead and crack my egg in this bowl and then whisk it separately. So now that my butter and milk is all cool, I'll go ahead and add my egg to my mixture and just whisk it. Once you have everything in here, like your butter, your milk, and your egg, go ahead and add it to your dry ingredients. So you just make a well in the middle and pour your wet ingredients in slowly and mix your batter. So once you're done mixing it in a bowl, you wanna transfer this to the counter. Make sure you have a clean and dry table or countertop to work on. So my countertop has been clean. You wanna get your extra flowers and just sprinkle it on the countertop. And then pour your batter on the counter. And you also want to make sure you have a clean hand because now you're going to be using your hands to knead the dough. I already washed my hands, guys. Once you're done transferring your batter to the table, add flour on the top as well. And you want to keep a bowl because you're going to add the dough in it to set it down for um, 30 minutes or 45. And add flour to your hands and just work your dough in. You want it to not be sticky, so add flour little by little, and try not to overwork your dough. Add more flour because I need it.
if it's still sticky, it's okay to add more flour. Just knead it as you go. Once the dough is no longer sticky, just pour it into a bowl and then add it to your bowl. Also sprinkle some flour in the bowl so it don't stick. Add your dough into the bowl, cover this and let it sit for 45 minutes in a warm place. If you have a clean towel or cloth, you can use that, but I'm gonna be using my plastic wrap to cover this. Once you have it all covered up, put it in a warm place and let it rise. So it's gonna double in size. Once you double in size, then it's gonna be time to roll. But you wanna put this aside and let it sit in a warm place for 45 minutes. So this is my dough. It has been sitting for 45 minutes. As you can see, it doubled in size. So I'm gonna take the plastic wrap off. It just wanna push it to get the air out. And sprinkle flour on a table. I'm gonna just be using the same surface that I worked on earlier. I'll use my bench scraper to cut it into pieces. If you don't want it too big, you can also cut it again, but I'm gonna just put these aside. Add flour to your hands and try to roll your dough. Make this into two. You can also roll it in your hand like this, or you can roll it on the counter. As you roll in it, try to scratch it out. So once you reach your desired length, you can go ahead and um, twist it together or twist it or each other. And once you're done twisting it, you can seal the end to make sure it don't lose. Or you can just go ahead and cut the ends off. And on the other side of your counter or table for flour and just lay this down you can hold it like this and just go So yes guys, you can roll it with your hands. Make sure you have flowers in your hands or you can roll it on the counter like this. But while you're rolling it, you just wanna stretch it out to give it length to be able to tie them together. So once you're done rolling it out, if you don't feel comfortable holding it in your hands to um, tie them together, you can lay it on the counter like this. I'm gonna take the um, one leg and cross it over the other and take the other leg and cross it over the other. Take the other leg, the opposite leg, and cross it. It's just what you're gonna do till you like reach the end. And once you reach the ends, you wanna seal the ends. And um, you can either tuck this little part under or you can cut it. So I have my bench scraper. I'ma just cut that out. And once you cut it out, you wanna like seal it again. And put this aside. Let it rest. So follow the same step and roll the rest of your donut. So once your donut is all twisted and 
it's resting on the counter because you're gonna need to rest this for about 30 minutes. You wanna get a clean kitchen towel and just cover your donut. Cover your donut and let it rest for 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes is up, then it's time to fry your donut. If you don't have a clean kitchen towel, you can use plastic wrap for this. But I'm gonna let this sit and rest for 30 minutes and after that, we're gonna be frying our donuts. So I have my pots here. I'll go ahead and add my oil to the pots. I'll wait for the oil to get hot and then I'll fry the donut. This is the donut that has been resting for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna wait for the oil to get hot and then we're gonna be frying our donuts. So my oil is ready. I'll go ahead and add my donut to the oil. You wanna take your donut from the counter like this with both hands and then just add it slowly into your oil. If your oil is too hot, your donut will get brown quicker and the inside of it not gonna cook. So if you realize your oil is too hot, you can always turn your stove down to medium so it can give your donut time to cook evenly because you don't want it outside of it brown and then inside still raw. I'm going one more. If it's brown on one side, turn it around to let the other side cook or fry. We're just gonna let it fry. Get you a strainer, something that you will be able to drain the excess oil off from your donut. I'm gonna be using a tongue because it's better. You just wanna grab it, add it to your strainer. So basically you want to follow the same step and fry the rest of your donut. And once you don't find the rest of your donut, I will show you guys the next step. But you want to take your donut off the oil, add it to a strainer and let the excess oil drain and then let it cool down before going to the next step. So I'm going to take my last donut out and I'll fry the rest of the donut off camera guys. You just basically following the same step that I show you guys and fry your donut. Okay, so this is my donut after frying it, and I have my sugar in this bucket. I won't be adding a side measurement, I'll just like pour some sugar into the plate. And then, once I have my sugar in the plate, I'll just grab a donut, you just want to gently roll it, you sprinkle it on top. You want to get the sugar all around it and add into the plate. So you want to follow the same step and add sugar on the rest of the donut. Once you're done frying your donut and roll it in sugar, this is how your donut gonna look. This is your Liberian donut. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and family, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. And I will see you guys in another video. Stay safe out there, guys. Bye.